we have to change from doubter to believe. Good morning and welcome to DTB TV. This is the preview for Brighton at Anfield today and I'm just going to speak a little bit about the match and also ask some, answer some questions off anybody. So if anybody wants to send me some questions, we'll talk about today's game. For those of you that are sat at home on furlough or those of you that are just off today, let's have a little chat. So I'll just wait for some of you to join. How is everybody? I hope you're all well. Just got some uh, news to read out, as, all, as I always do uh, on match days. Really looking forward to today's game. It'll be interesting to see what side Jurgen Klopp puts out uh, with regards to the fact we've got Manchester City on Sunday. Uh, morning, Michael. What score do I think it's going to be today? I think we're going to win 4-0. I think we're going to comfortably win today. I think we're going to smash Brighton. I think what we'll do is look at the Manchester United result last night with them getting nine, which is ludicrous, uh, based on the fact that it was Southampton's reserves and then they had nine men and then the, the VAR decisions. VAR is killing the game. It's killing the game and it needs to go. And the only way I can see it going is if the fans boycott watching Sky, watching Sky Sports and watching all the... If the money goes out of the game, they'll have to get rid of it. The fans need to make it stop. The fans need to vote with their with their feet and their mouths and need to say that VAR, we don't want it in the game. We just don't want it in the game. I mean, like I say, I'm looking forward to going to watch AFC Liverpool again, non-league football, because at least at non-league football, you can celebrate a goal and know it's going to stand and not have to wait five, ten minutes to find out if it's an actual goal. It, no one wants VAR. No one. The players don't want VAR. The, the fans don't want VAR. So why we got VAR? Why couldn't we just go with cold goal line technology and violent conduct and leave it at that? We shouldn't have VAR for offside. We should let the linesman you go with. Let, what's the lines? What, what's the linesman even doing on the pitch? We don't even need linesmen anymore because they're not making the decisions anyway. So yeah. So I just want to read out something here which is quite interesting about Ozan Kabach. So let's just read this article here by Andrew D Dowswell. Dowswell, what a name that is. Liverpool's victory over West Ham United on Sunday continued their recent resurgence as Jurgen Klopp continues to battle against hefty injury crisis. Mohamed Salah scored two lovely goals, the second of which was reminiscent of Liverpool's counter-attacking at its best, while two deadline day signings offer hope that the centre-back issues can be resolved. The news that Joel Matip will miss the remainder of the campaign with ankle injury was disheartening, but arrivals of Ozan Kabach and Ben Davis offer hope at that position. Meanwhile, Klopp will be buoyed by the improvements of his attack, especially Roberto Firmino begins to find his form. Here is your Liverpool Morning Digest for Wednesday, the 3rd of February. New signing, Kabach does not need to be registered for the Premier League, so he doesn't need to be registered. He's ready to go now. Kabach could play today because Liverpool signed Kabach on a six-month loan on deadline day as cover for Matip, Virgil van Dijk and Joe Gomez, all of whom will miss extended time with their respective injuries. The Reds will have £18 million option to buy clause included in the deal, which can be activated in the summer, while Kabach could be in line to feature from the off, with Jordan Henderson and Fabinho moonlighting at centre-half in recent weeks. So this is big news. Kabach can start today he can play Liverpool named a 24-man squad for the first half of the campaign with Virgil van Dijk dropping out after a ser suffering a serious knee injury in the Merseyside derby against Evan Kabach however does not need to be included in the Premier League squad for the second half of the season because he's only 20 so that is another reason why I think we went for him as well because he's not having to be squeezed into the squad because he doesn't have to because he's only 20 years old. He can he can be registered straight away, which is weird. Davis, the other new arrival, will need to be included in the squad though. Taki Minamino's departure opens up a spot. So Kabach could only come because he didn't need to be involved in the squad and Minamino going freed up the space to allow Davis to come in. 
Diego Jota and Naby Keita are expected to return before the end of the season and will subsequently be included in that 20 squad, 20 squad, 21 man squad. Liverpool can name a 21 man squad or a 25 man squad with respective inclusions of Matip and Van Dijk offering a hint as to whether they could possibly return this year. Eyebrows were raised when Liverpool targeted Preston defender Davis in the closing days of the window of the January window. Liverpool's need for a centre-back was well known and with options limited given their financial situation and the deadline looming they had to drop to the championship. Davis who had, signed, signed, had six months remaining on his Preston contract was expected to sign a pre-contract agreement with Celtic however once Liverpool entered the equation everything changed and the two million transfer was swiftly completed. But if people had doubts over Davis' ability to step up to the Premier League, they, were, they only need to look at Jose Mourinho, Spurs and Joe Rondon for encouragement. Rondon made the step up from Swansea City and Mourinho has been extremely pleased with the young centre-back. He played well and he did many things well, a couple of things not so well, but he's a player, of course, who was playing the Championship, Mourinho said after Tottenham's victory at Sheffield earlier this month. A young guy, he has to learn. One thing is you want a central defender and you pay £70 million for one of the top centre-backs in Europe. Then you resolve your problems. Another thing is to get a good player, but a player who needs to develop with Joe, that's the situation. He has to learn, he has to make mistakes, he has to play, he has to learn. So say, Je Jose Mourinho there is just saying that you can find some diamonds in the... Uh, in the championship right good morning tosh match of day shit to now var var this var yeah var needs to go it really does just for the good of football and like i say and i've said this quite a lot non-league football is the future for me because i like to go to a football match where i can see real football where it's not over clouded by var because i'm not a var fan i'll watch it on the telly and i'll hate it but uh, with regards to me going to games, if I have a choice now on a Saturday to go to Anfield or to go and watch AFC Liverpool, the chances are nine times out of ten. In fact, I will always pick AFC Liverpool because I love football and I love, I love the emotion that comes with it. And I was at the game against West Brom in the FA Cup when West Brom hit us on the counter-attack, went and scored and it came back two minutes later for a Liverpool penalty in the build-up. That was that was VAR finishing football for me, in my opinion. So, yeah, so that's just VAR. So it's, 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 it's something we don't want in the game, we know that. Anyway, so with regards to Kabach, Kabach could start tonight based on the fact he doesn't need to be included in the 25-man squad because he's 20 years old, which is great. We'll have to wait and see uh, with regards to that. Uh, so, yeah, what's your thoughts today? Uh, should be a home banker really shouldn't it but we'd have probably thought that well not probably we would have thought that against Burnley as well so let's hope today we just get the job done uh, close the gap on Manchester United to one point and obviously four to Manchester City Manchester City go away to Burnley I think that's a six o'clock kickoff I think that's one of the early ones so it'd be weird to see that so I mean it'd be interesting to see if Burnley can do what they did to us but I very much doubt it uh, everyone seems to raise their game to us uh, so yeah it's a mad one so anyway like I say today uh, I'll be on a couple of times uh, with regards to giving some more information out once we get it I'll be live for team lineups and match day live later on as well have a great day everybody you'll never walk alone